Mr. Chairman, I wonder if you might be able to uh, put some, I don't know, numbers or maybe more detail around this concept of substantial further progress. What counts as the progress, numerically, if you will, or, 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 or citing data, if you could, um, that you cited in the statement today? And if you could be more specific about what substantial further progress would look like, and if that would then lead you to an announcement of an actual reduction in the purchases of your assets. Thank you. Great. Thank you. So um, more detail on substantial further progress. So um, let's talk about the maximum employment part of that. As you know, uh, with maximum employment, unlike with, uh, with price stability, where we can target a number 2 percent on average, with maximum employment, there isn't a single number that we can target. The, the, we monitor a broad range of, of, uh, of data uh, about different aspects of the labor market. There's unemployment, unemployment among different, uh, different age groups and such. Uh, there's participation, there's wages, there's all kinds of flow data. And we look at all of it to try to uh, arrive at a picture of what, of what is maximum employment. So there isn't, I can't give you uh, uh, a set of numbers, uh, for example, a numerical threshold like we used uh, for a time back in 2012, I guess it was. Uh, we didn't do that here. What we said was substantial further progress toward our goals, and what we said was we would keep, uh, effectively, we'd, we, we would give advance warning as we, and, and you know, more and more clarity as, as we move forward, and that's what we're going to try to do. So what would substantial further progress be? I'd say we have some ground to cover. On, on the uh, labor market side. I think we're, we're some way away from, uh, from having had substantial further progress with, um, with max, toward the maximum employment goal. I would want to see some strong job numbers, and, and that's, that's kind of the idea. Um, if, if I could follow up, it, you, you talked about one side of the equation. You didn't, is, does it mean you feel like you've reached your goal when it comes to the inflation side? Thank you. So inflation is running well above our 2% uh, objective and has been for a few months and is expected to run uh, up certainly above our objective for a few months before we believe it'll, it'll move back down toward our objective. The question whether we've met that objective formally is really one for the committee to make. I can't, I can't uh, do that by myself. But it's clear that at this time, inflation is actually running above 2%. And, and again, has been and will be at least, we expect it will in, in coming months before returning uh, down toward our target. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.